Andrew Morris, City New Bay Fire Department. Uh, we're going to be looking at a couple hose loads today and the different applications. So if you have short offsets, you have to consider a couple different things. Uh, at the city, we actually run the triple fold, which is a predominant load in South Carolina. But what we're going to look at is what are some of the loads available and how well do they work in different applications. We have the Scorpion load here we're going to be deploying. Pretty simple load. It's a flat lay all the way out. We got our first 50 coming out the trough. So to deploy, we're going to run our nozzle with our coupling. That'll be a 50 fully deployed, and then we'll have our last 50 for fire attack. So we'll go ahead and stretch it with the nozzle again and the coupling. Gonna be making a stretch on a triple fold here. Another good simple load, lays pretty well in a trough. <clears throat> Only if deployed wrong, it turns into spaghetti. So important about the triple folds, gonna be make sure you got all three pieces, one, two, three, when you're deploying the line. It's gonna clear the bed about 66 feet, which is one third of this 200 foot lay. So Crouch is gonna go ahead and make the stretch. Clears the bed. The difference with this load and the others is he's going to have to stop when he feels it pull tight. He drops. He'll then have to come back, him and his second guy, and lay it for fire attack. If not deployed correctly, it will be spaghetti. Another load that we can look at, the pretty popular load, is the Minuteman. There's a lot of ways to do the Minuteman. There's a single stack, there's a double stack. The concept is largely the same, and once again, it all depends on how the length of your load, your hose bed with a load like this. So, one of the most important things when you're deploying a minute man is you're going to grab the minute man, grab it, nozzle, and this is the load that you're going to shoulder. So, you're going to take it. Here's one of the best things to do create a nice little sandwich fold, step down, and that's going to go straight to the shoulder. When you get it, the most important thing is control on the front of this load. So what I like to do is I like to sit on my shoulder and wrap it. That way, if you lose your balance, you've still got it. At this point, you can set up however many hand grabs you want in the hose bed. What it does off near my feet, it doesn't matter. It can fall apart. And what I'm worried about is control right here on the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk out till it all drops. I'm gonna come back, grab my Hand grab, I'm gonna extend out. So I'm gonna clear that hose bed. Once again, this is my control here. Once I'm clear, then I've got my shoulder load. So our hose bed is clear. I don't have any kinks. My supply is on the bottom. Now I can take this. An important thing, some people let this pull off their shoulder. One of the important things is to control it. When you feel a little flake, take that hand, move it up under, throw it over. And we're gonna have it flake out behind me and I'm controlling it. If I want to, if I want to pull the slack out, I'm gonna pull all of it. If I'm at a place on the flake, I flake it out. If I get to where I want to go, and I've got all the nozzle I need, or all the hose I need, I'll actually take the whole thing, set it down at the door. I can have my backup person come back here, grab it, flake it out, and now we're ready to deploy in. All right, so we're looking at the Newberry load. We're gonna deploy this out. Uh, you have two dog ears, uh, two on either side. That way it's a little bit more versatile. If you're right-handed, right, right left-handed dominant, doesn't matter. Basically, you're gonna flip them out, you're gonna take the, the accordion loaded section and move it to the shoulder. Like any kind of shoulder load, you're gonna make sure you have good control over this section. I like to take one arm and put it over it. Come back, you're gonna clear the hose bed. So grab both. Uh, the one closest to the engine is gonna be with the uh, grab with the hand, the other one's grabbing around that shoulder. You got the hose bed clear. You're gonna release the one in your hand and keep going with the one on your uh, on your wrist. So 
right now, we've got it laid out. Our hose section's clear. And basically, we're left with a minute man on the shoulder. So at this point, we can flake it off as we need. If we get to where we want to go, once again, we can take the section, put it down on the ground, grab the middle, set it back, and we're set up and ready to fight fire. So we're going to be looking at the flat load. The flat load maybe is one of the most versatile loads that we could use, uh, but it does have some challenges to it. So it's one of the easiest to load back, undoubtedly. A lot of it really comes into the length of your hose bed. So we can deploy this the exact same way that we deploy the triple fold if we want. You grab the nozzle and you're going to grab essentially what would be the middle of the section, well one third of the section. Uh, and so we would go to that fold, you grab those two and you go out. Uh, there's a lot of options. You can actually put a hand grab here, put a shoulder grab. Um, the, the important thing is to know the length of the hose bed because that's going to affect how it deploys. Uh, typically, if you're going to deploy it and you're going to have some of those hand grabs, you're going to leave a uh, uh, hose bed clearing. Uh, so it comes into knowing which one would be which. So if we wanted to clear the hose bed, we might put a six inch hand grab here um, and then we might uh, take this. You can even turn this into a Minuteman if you want. It's a lot of options to turn it into a Minuteman. Uh, if we were going to take it, we could grab this. Some people like to chalk where the hand grabs are or chalk if you want to grab it and deploy it as a triple fold. You grab this one. Um, it really does come to you have to pre-measure and know how long that hose bed is. But if you wanted to take it and transition it into a different load, you can actually take it. Right now we're going to transition this into a minute man, flip it over. I'm going to take it and I'm going to come out. I can get my hand grab. I can deploy out. Once I clear my hose bed, I've got a minute man that I'm working with. If I wanted to deploy it in a different method, I can use any of these hand grabs. Um, but once again, it's probably one of the most versatile. From here, the most important thing, just like the Minuteman, is controlling what's happening right here. So if I want to go, we know that this is about 50, uh, 56 feet in on this one, just because we measured our hose bed. So since we know that, if I wanted a hand grab to have 56 feet, I could grab here and take that to the door. The nozzle man takes this and this, they grab the bail and their hand grab and they're gone. Our engineer comes out behind them and clears the hose bed. That way when I get up to the door, the nozzle has 56, that's a little bit longer, 56, 58 feet of hose right there at them. So once again, the flat lid's very versatile but if you haven't put the homework into knowing exactly how long those poles are, you're probably not using it to the advantage. All right, so deployment on the Kentland load has a couple advantages. This is probably one of the more unique loads in that we have a donut roll. That donut roll is gonna go under my arm and then I'm gonna clear my hose bed. I've got essentially two dog ears here. Uh, this one, I'm gonna come in. That one goes a little higher. We clear the hose bed with this. So one large jerk pulls the whole thing out. This basically is gonna tighten immediately. My hose bed's clear. I'm gonna drop this and extend this out. Once I get to where I wanna go, then I've got my donut and I'm gonna throw that out. There's two ways to do it. We'll talk about that uh, in the loading video. I like the nozzle on the top. So here we go. First thing I do, get out of the rig, take the nozzle. I'm gonna fit it under my arm come over and this is where I clear the hose bed. One big tug clears the whole thing. It looks like a mess, but right here, I've got that section. I immediately drop that and we start pulling.
So the big thing with this, when you throw this out, is realize you want it to go, if I'm, let's just say I'm going over here, I want to go ahead and make sure that I turn the opposite direction, and then I deploy this out the opposite direction. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to throw it. What this gives me is an advantage that now I've got my 50 foot, my first coupling right there, my nozzle's ready to go in. 